Hello and welcome to my video. Mr.net is here and this is the first video from our Sudoku tutorial. The first thing what we have to do is we have here our 2D scene and in this scene I create a new game object, a new panel and I change the color of the panel to white and it is not transparent and inside this panel I insert a button I scale this button a little bit greater and I also duplicate these buttons so now I have three buttons And with these buttons, we can change in the in the future our our game level. So this button is called easy. This button is called middle. And this button is called hard. And also I want to change the text inside the button, so I click here this arrow, open the text from the button and here I write the word easy. I also change the font size to 35. This button gets the value middle and also the font size 35. And this text of this button gets the text hard and also the font size 35. So with this scene we are firstly finish. We came back to this scene a little bit later in the tutorial. The next thing what we have to do is we create a new scene. So in my folder where I have the English main scene, I click right click and create a new scene and I call this scene English game. So with double click I can open this scene and into this scene I insert a new game object. This game object is a panel and also for this panel I change the color and the transparency so that this panel isn't transparent and the color is white. I call this panel the main panel and inside this panel I create a new panel. I call this panel the Sodoku field panel and this panel I change here the anchor presence and also the width and the height. This panel has a width from 500 and a height from 500. So if I go to my scene we see this is the Sodoku field panel and I also change the position of this panel so. In our Sodoku field panel I add a new component with add component and I add the component grid layout group. We have here the padding, the cell size and the spacing. We know that our Sotoku panel has the width 500 and the he 500. And our Sotoku panel has in the x axis and in the y axis 9 elements. So the cell size is 50. The spacing I take 5 
and for the padding left I take also 5 and for the padding top I take also 5. Then I go here to my scene, right click and I create a new game object, a panel and I call this panel the field prefab. And also I change here the anchor presence to middle and center. And this panel, oh, sorry, I forgot the name, field prefab. And we know that our Sodoku field panel has the grid layout group with the cell size 50. So this field prefab here has also the width 50 and the height 50. Then I change the background color of my prefab so to white and it is not transparent. After I create this panel here, I open my prefab folder here under Assets Prefab English and with drag and drop I drag this panel here into my folder and it turns the color of the symbol to blue so it is a prefab. And now I can delete here in my scene this prefab. The next step is I go here into my script folder to my asset scripts English folder and inside this folder I create a new script. I call this script the English game and with double click I open this script in Visual Studio. With double click I open this in Visual Studio. So we can delete the update method, we don't need it. And on the top of my class I create three fields. Nope, I don't need an update. The first field or property is a public from type game object and I call this property the main panel. Then I create a public game object, I call this the Sodoku panel, the Sodoku, Sodoku field panel and also we need a game object for our field prefab. So I save this script and I go back to Unity. In my scene I drag this script into the event system and if I click the event system we have here the English game script with our three public properties, the main panel, the Sodoku field panel and the field prefab, but these objects are none. So the next point is with drag and drop I can drag the main panel to the main panel, the Sodoku field panel to the Sodoku field panel property and also in my prefab folder I drag the prefab to my field prefab property. After we attached our objects to our properties, I open Visual Studio and inside the start method we want to insert 81 field prefabs into our Sodoku field panel. For that I create a for loop. 
I start with the number 0 and the loop ends with the number 80. So from 0 to 80 I have 81 objects. And then I called from the game object the method instantiate and the first argument of this method is the object what we want to create or what we want to instantiate this is a field prefab and the parent component is the sodoku field panel dot transform so I save this script I go back to unity and I start my game now we see 81 fields but I want to change the color of my panels so I have the main panel this has the color white my sodoku field panel has a transparency from one we forgot to save this and I also change the color from white to a little bit gray so that I have a contrast between the background between my prefabs and the sodoku field panel the field prefab has the color white that's okay so now if I start the game we see we have 81 field prefabs here inside our Sodoku field panel. So that's it with the first video. Hopefully you like it. Please give me a feedback. If you like it, subscribe my channel and see you in the next video. Bye.